So today uh, I'm just going to show you a quick uh, video tutorial on how to uh, create a, a new machine for uh, monitoring in the vigilance system and how to assign the channels and kind of go through kind of a basic setup of, of how to set up some points for monitoring. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign into my vigilance system. It's going to take me into my dashboard mode. Um, but what I want to do is kind of switch into configuration mode. So where I see my dashboard drop down here, I'm going to click and select configuration. This is going to take me through to where I can do some of the setup of my machine. So right now we have one machine that is being monitored, which is a, a dryer can at a pulp and paper facility. Well, at this facility, there's also a, a pump that I'm going to want to take some readings on. So I'm going to cl click on new and I'm going to create my new machine. And I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call this um, my waste. Now there's some additional information in here I can fill in if I you know, want to put in manufacturer information, model information, serial number, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not really interested in that right now, but I am going to um, assign an image to it. So here's an image that I pre-uploaded in um, and I'm going to define what is my monitoring period for my overall data. So how quickly am I going to want to see that overall data being refreshed? So. I can uh, go as quickly as two seconds and as uh, up to 30. So I'm actually gonna do two seconds. I wanna see that those updates coming in pretty quick. So I'm gonna click on accept. And you can now see here that here's my new wastewater pump. Here's the image of, of the motor and pump here. That's great. And under my machine uh, information here, I now have my wastewater pump. So, I'm going to click on this. And when I click on this, it takes me back into that information. Um, but if I click on the little circle to the left of it, it's going to open up the specific configuration components that I can uh, come in and uh, set up. So I'm not going to go through all of these today, but what I am going to do is I'm going to assign some points. So I'm going to click on points here. And here is where I actually tie in the inputs that are connected within my Vigilant. So let me just pop up here to my inputs outputs uh, section here. And we can see that, you know, here is where I define the sensors that are connected to the eight dynamic channels and the four um, other channels that I can uh, bring different pieces of information into. So what I'm going to be looking at today is uh, input three, four, and five. So I have two ultrasound sensors and a vibration sensor that are being brought in through inputs three, four, and five. So I'm gonna go back to my wastewater pump to my points, and I'm gonna add a new point. So my first dynamic point of interest is gonna be my pump drive end bearing. So I've given the name of pump drive end bearing. Now I can, I can give it you know, any name that I like. Uh, this is just a tag name that's gonna identify exactly what it is. So if I wanna call this wastewater pump drive end, I can do that um, and I'm gonna specify the technique, which is gonna be ultrasound. And I'm going to, on my, my image here, I wanna set up my mimic label. So uh, where is the drive end of my pump? It's approximately here. So I'm gonna kind of bring in my little um, information, tag it to that particular point. And here is where I'm going to specify the input channel that that is tied into. So three channel three is going to be the drive end of my pump. So I'm going to select that. It's going to by default pick up on the, the specific unit. So microvolt for ultrasound, and I'm going to hit accept. So I've created my first point, And if I click on the little circle next to point, I can see here is my wastewater pump drive end. Um, now, I'm also going to want to do my non-drive end of my pump. So I could click on new and create a second one, or there's a nice, real nice feature in here, which is the ability to copy. So I'm going to click on copy and I'm going to just give it a new name. I'm going to call this non-drive end and hit OK. And what that does is it completely copies the configuration of 
that first input. Now, if I'd have gone through and configured all of the different parameters and alarms and storage settings that I wanted, it would take all of that information along with it as well. So it's a really, really nice feature. If you're setting up uh, a number of like channels, so if I've got you know four vibration channels that are all going to be configured in very much the same way, I can create one, copy them, rename them, and just specify the input channel, the source. So I'm going to go into my non-drive end, and the only thing I need to go in here is to go in and change the input channel. So this is going to be on input number four. Um, and select accept. So we can see here now I've got my drive end, my non-drive end, and my source is channel three or input three for my drive end, input four or channel four for my non-drive end. And then the last one I'm going to do for today is I'm going to add a vibration uh, sensor. Well, I've got a vibration sensor connected to channel five, so I'm going to want to apply that to here as well. So I'm going to click on new dynamic point. And this is going to be my uh, WW motor drive end. That's where I'm connected to. My technique is going to be vibration. And I'm going to assign my motor drive end here and make sure my input is tied into channel five, which is my vibration. And in doing this, I've remembered I've got to go back and do one thing for the non-drive end of my pump because I didn't assign where the, uh, the tag point is going to be. So let me accept this for my vibration reading. I'm going to go back to my non-drive end of my pump configuration by clicking on it. And uh, I'm going to click on here for where I want my uh, non-drive end tag to be applied. So that's at the other end of the pump. I'm going to hit accept. And there we go. That's the basics of, of how we assign a, uh, the different channels to a different machine point and, and kind of create that quick configuration. So in a few future episodes, we'll go through some of the, uh, the other configuration uh, points that we can set up.